Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be talking about our professions and just sort of all the alt calculations that I have been doing. Just, you know, practicing what I preach and leveling up my alts to become essentially AFK profession bots. Now, this can vary in price, but I'm going to share what Crusader Strike Horde results were, as well as just a few random fun facts about all this stuff and how well it has been going. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I have been preaching so much here in phase three that probably one of the best uses of your time is to establish all the alts that you've been leveling. You just have to get them to 41 and then they become profession bots. And what I mean by that is they can have their max professions at whatever level they need, usually 250, but for alchemy, it is uh, 275 for Arcanite. Arcanite is a very interesting one because I this is the fifth cooldown since I bought it for you guys and I have not gotten a single proc and essentially you lose 10 gold every time you try. However, if you get a proc, it is very valuable. Plus initial investment, at this point it is about I need four to be profitable and if we keep getting unlucky we will uh, need five to become profitable but hopefully we can see a proc. Oh my, look at that. I record it and we get the three proc. So just like that, we're practically almost profitable with our Arcanite. It was a bit of a struggle, but finally, finally we got it. So that is awesome. Um, as you can see right here, I'm happy because I was starting to doubt it. A lot of people say like, oh, they have bad luck. It's not gonna work, stuff like that. And then also what I want to talk about is sort of leveling leatherworking. And so leatherworking and tailoring, both of them took about an hour and 30 minutes on the horde to do. I'm not entirely sure where the max level alliance profession trainers are, so that time might be a little different. But for horde, essentially you sit at Thunderbluff and you fly to Feralis for leatherworking. And then for tailoring, you go from Orgrimmar to Undercity to uh, Tarn Mill. So with all this, you just sort of sit here and make some... Uh, make these on cooldown and as you can see my druid is fully upgraded ready to go and now we're just going to go put all this on the auction house and make some decent profit i'm so stoked that we got that arcane bar guys especially since it's the one time that i've actually recorded it and show you guys uh it actually ended up hitting which is just so cool to see um you can also be stockpiling these mats if you think they're going up but right now after investing thousands of gold into getting my profession alt army up i wanted to take the time to uh you know accumulate some profit but as i was saying with alchemy it's one expensive to level and two it is um a gamble and it has a high cost uh, a barrier of entry but as you can see it took me about 10 days and we're close to uh, profitable I'll need one more proc at any time but that three proc just sort of made my money be very close to profitable so really good to see that I'm so happy that I got it on this video for you guys um, but leatherworking came out to about an hour and a half of leveling and because of the cost of light leather and medium leather which I showed you in another video but I'm going to show it to you again just so you see that I am not lying to you and uh, full of crap um, it was quite expensive and it led to some making leveling leatherworking pretty hard because like light leather two gold a stack for the lowest level mat in the game and it takes you um, quite it takes like 500 light leather to get through to medium leather and then it doesn't get any better because medium leather is also selling pretty high at three gold a stack so that is just a lot that you need um you're going to be needing like 30 stacks of total of both to get through that part of the leveling and these are quite expensive right now so that's where about the 300 to 350 gold investment comes and then if you're just using cured rugged hide to level or to make your money back 
you're going to come out to about a month of doing it on cooldown to get those 10 cure drug and highs of profit to make your money back but after that you can continue going and then obviously if you go out there and farm light leather farm medium leather your cost of investment is way way less so it's just something to keep in mind it's definitely be aware of and track it i also leveled tailoring on my priest here who i leveled up to 41 and tailoring was way easier tailoring was almost about 100 gold just raw to get everything and i was able to get tailoring up to 250 get the moon cloth recipe and we'll be able to make it later today but I'm still working on the priest's leather working and then I have my hunter and hunter's tailoring and leather working to still do as far as my profession plan and getting these alts ready. But Mooncloth is definitely worth your investment. It's the longest cooldown. Tailoring costs 100 gold to level and do. And then you send all the enchanting mats that you use because Mage Weave Cloth is so cheap right now on my server. You send all of that to an enchanter, all the black ma Mage Weave gloves and headbands that you made, and you disenchant them and sell them. And it actually comes close to breaking even on that because enchanting mats are selling for so much right now. Um, I almost profited off of leveling my tailoring just raw and so definitely would recommend doing tailoring at the very least leatherworking is a bit more of investment similar to alchemy but if you have all that you did professions on at any point like if they're already at 150 profession level that is the bulk of the cost like for tailoring the only real expensive part is the wool cloth segment of that and and so if you level them in bfd and you're at 150 profession or even 125 profession you are so far ahead and you will save so much money so definitely look into that guys it is something to be aware of i'm actually leveling my characters in uh stv my uh rogue and shaman here because they both have skinning and so i'm just straight up killing tigers and panthers leveling these guys up and skinning up a ton of medium leather as they sort of do two for one these are just my only two tunes that have skinning left on them so i wanted to you know Spend some time, be efficient, and, you know, make some gold or level my professions while doing it. But that's sort of my old army that's in the works. I just wanted to show you guys that I'm not a hypocrite. I like to practice what I preach. So when I tell you, hey, make your old army level these professions, do this, and you'll have amazing infrastructure to last the entire game. It can be really, really fantastic. As you just saw, I hit that Arcanite 3 bar, which I'm so happy for. But anyway, guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, anything you'd like to add, you think I'm wrong about anything, let me know in the comments down below. But until next time, I'll see you later. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.